What is up guys, Game can be fun, I'm going to show you how to do all the Mushroom 13 Heartless in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, also known as Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix. This gameplay is actually from the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD Remix on the PlayStation 4. The remastered versions is also the PS4 Pro Enhanced version, as I'm playing this on the PS4 Pro. We're going to go ahead and start with number 1 of the Mushroom 13, do them all in order. Mushroom number 1 of 13 is only accessible once you completely beat the game, hence beat Zenith for a final time. Go ahead and save after the credits roll and then go back into it. This is also how you access the Lingering World Battle, but we're not going to do the Lingering World Battle because we're doing the Mushroom 13. He's located in the Memory Skyscraper area of World That Never Was. Now the trick to beating the Mushroom number 1 is pretty much timing a reaction command very, very, very precisely so you can get behind him and hit him. If you hit the reaction command too soon, he will pretty much spin right back behind you again. If you do it too late, he will pretty much do a dashing attack at you. Now I suggest you go ahead and have final form unlocked and also remove and deselect any abilities that extend your combo. You want short combos with this guy because he's going to make you do a reaction command a lot. And go ahead and select the ability negative combo. Be a little easier. Once you time the reaction command very, very, very precisely, just press X like three or four times. Only three or four times. Don't do a full, full, full combo because you'll just waste the time limit away. It doesn't get any more simpler than number two. Mushroom number two can be found in the Christmas Tree Plaza of Halloween Town in the Christmas part of it. And all you need to know for this guy is to use your reflect magic ability because it'll just hover around and it'll shoot pretty much shards of energy at you and you just gotta reflect them back at it over and over and over again timing is also important with this because he'll start shooting a lot of energy shards at once at you too so make sure to reflect it back to reflect all the energy shards he shoots at you back the more you deflect back the better. Mushroom number three is located in the Beast Castle bridge area. All you gotta do is equip everything in your arsenal that increases your draw ability. So if you have like two or three draw abilities, go ahead and equip those. Go ahead and equip a draw ring accessory. And you can equip the Follow the Wind Keyblade you got from the Pirates of the Caribbean level. And you pretty much got four or five times the draw ability. This mushroom pretty much just hover around and drop shiny pearl like balls in its tracks. And you just pretty much just gotta fly and pick as many up as you can while following it. Final form really helps with this as well because you can hover and fly pretty fast during this. Number four can be found in the Palace Skates area. The Land of Dragons pretty much the Mulan world. All you know with this guy is he'll pretty much make copies of himself. And they'll all try to attack you and tackle you. Your responsibility is to not let any of them touch you. And if any of them touch you, then you pretty much fail a challenge. If you have the Wisdom form, all you need to do is hover in circles and shoot them all the entire time. And it'll make this challenge a breeze. Number five can be found in the Cave of Wonders treasure room area of Agarball, pretty much the Aladdin world. All you need to know for this guy is you gotta pretty much take out all of his health in the shortest amount of time possible before it regenerates too much. Make sure to deselect and remove any abilities that extend your combo and go ahead and equip the negative combo ability and also have limit form. Also, equip any accessory or keyblade or any item like a power up that increases your strength a lot. You can also achieve this obviously by leveling up too, but accessories and a key blades that are very, very, very powerful can help with this. The reason why limit form is so important is because why you keep pressing X and X and X and X all the time. Sword does a stabbing motion at the end of his combo, and it pretty much takes out one to one and a half bars of this mushroom's health. Very, very, very useful for taking him out very, very, very quickly. Number six, we found the atrium area of the underworld of the Colosseum world, pretty much Hercules world. All you need to know for this guy is you gotta pretty much take all the sets of clones of himself out as fast as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. Easiest way to achieve this is to have final form unlocked to make sure it's at level four or five. 
also equip any abilities that extend the form duration. In other words, form boost. Select as many as those as you can. Also have thunder magic ability at max. In other words, thundaga. And equip any accessories and keyblades and items that increase your strength. Really, really high. As well as magic if you can. And also equip any ethers for when you run out of magic and you can't use thunder anymore so you'll be able to use thunder again thunder combined with final form really really helps because instead of flying over to all the sets of clones wasting a lot of time all you gotta do is use thunder at them to completely kill them do this as fast as you can and it'll make this challenge pretty easy Number 7 can be found in the Tunnel Way, the Twilight Town world. All you need to know for this guy is pretty much just like number 6. You gotta take him out as fast as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. Except there's a catch. He will pretty much attack you the entire time constantly. Easiest way to take him out is to, again, have final form unlocked. Have it at a high level. Have your thunder magic spell maxed out. In other words, Thundaga. And also have a very, 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 very high magic point meter equip any accessories or keyblades or items that increase your strength and magic points very 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 high as you can you're not gonna need ethers for this because the mission for this world says you gotta beat them in 10 seconds only way to do this is to cast thunder the entire time without needing to use an ether so your magic meter's gotta be pretty high for this guy Number 8 can be found in the tower area of the Twilight Town world, and he's probably quite possibly the hardest out of all 13 mushrooms. The reason for this is because you gotta hit him in the air as much as you can before he hits the ground. What makes it so difficult is the more you hit him in the air, the farther away he gets, thus making it very, very, very hard to reach him in time before he hits the ground. Now, I do this at least 50 to 80 times. Dead serious, guys. That is how frustrating this mushroom is. Now, the easiest way to achieve this, this method might not work for everybody, but it did for me. Make sure to, again, have fine form unlocked. Equip any abilities that extend your air combos. Make sure to have horizontal slash ability and berserk ability unlocked and equipped as well. And have the cure spell unlocked and equipped too. Now my strategy is to pretty much go up to this guy and before you press triangle to pop him out in the ground, go ahead and cast cure on yourself. And this will pretty much take your magic meter away completely, thus enabling berserk mode, your berserk ability. And what this does, you can pretty much hit him in the air as much as you can without stopping. Your attacks continue endlessly without any breaks in between. So go ahead and cast Cure on yourself. To enable Berserk Mode, press Triangle to pop them up in the air. Press X to start hitting them in the air. Also, you square a lot too, which is the horizontal slash. Square, 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 X, 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 square, 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 X, X, square, 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 square. And keep doing it over and over again. Once you reach 30, at least 30, then hurry up and transform in your final form. You know as well as I do, when Sora transforms into a form, there's like a glass type effect that he shoots out when he does it. And this can actually hurt Heartless or mush any mushrooms in the vicinity. So this makes it really easy to pop the mushroom back up in the air at the last second to finish off. Now I know the mission for this is you gotta hit him at least, I think, 85 times. And the only way I found to help with this is you can pretty much when you first pop them up in the air there's this area over here with these trees the mushroom can't fly away from you from and obviously it's kind of like an invisible wall if you will if Sora himself can't jump off this ledge can't fly off the edge or walk off the edge then neither can the mushroom and what makes this easy is when you hit him as much as you can in the air he gets farther and farther away however if you start hitting him over here when he's in the air, as he keeps flying away, he can't really move or fly far away from you at all. He's stuck right there. So it helped me a lot when I did this. When I got to 30 or 40, I hurried up and transformed into final form. And this glass effect hits the mushroom and pops him back up in the air so you can keep hitting him. Now, keep in mind, be be very careful when you do my strategy with this because I know with final form, you know as well as I do, if you keep pressing X over and over again, Sora goes into a bouncing off the keyblade effect or he has a bad habit of putting both his keyblades on both sides of him 
making him shake up and down very, very, very fast, leading to a backflip and going down. You don't want to do all that because, obviously, this is just going to make the mushroom hit the ground. You're not going to be able to hit the mushroom with that entire combo. So you just want to press X gently at least two or three times over and over and over again. If you do this, it'll keep popping them back in, in the air, giving you time to get to 85 or whatever the mission says you gotta get to. If you fail, all you gotta do is go into the tower where Yen Sid was, and then, not where Yen Sid was, but where Yen Sid resides, just the fucking front door, and all you gotta do is walk back out of it again. And then the mushroom will be back on the ground. Number nine can be found in the castle gate area of the Hall Bastion slash Radiant Garden World. Now the object to this guy is you gotta pretty much hit him and keep him spinning as much as you can, as long as you can. I found the easiest way to do this is to again have Final Form Unlocked and have the fire spell upgrade to the max. In other words, Fireiga. Now, you go ahead and transform now, and then you press triangle on him, and then hit him with normal combos. Again, just like number eight, don't go into the bouncing off keyblade attack and all of that fancy jazz. Just press X as many times as you can gently because I know Sora has a bad habit of going into the extreme combos with final form. You just want to tap X at least three or four times keeping them spinning. Once you get to at least 30 or 40 hits all you gotta do is start using fire at the last second. Hold L1 and use fire constantly because in final form when you're using fire he Sora pretty much spins himself and the fire goes around him. So it makes sense that this attack will keep the mushroom spinning around the area. Number 10 can be found in the Ilo de the Moonlight Nook area of Port Royal, pretty much the parts of the Caribbean world. All you know for this guy is just like the Black Ballad of Kingdom Hearts 1, he'll split copies of himself into five total, and you gotta pick the right one after they shuffle themselves. The difference is instead of hitting them one like the Black Ballad in Kingdom Hearts 1, you gotta hit this one as many times as you can, taking its entire health down. Now, as I tell everybody, make sure you have very, 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 very high strength, equipping accessories and keyblades and items and level up Sora as high as you can to have very very high strength. The reason I always tell people to have high strength is because the more strength you have the faster you can take an enemy's health down and the more damage you can inflict towards an enemy's health bar. Also equip any abilities that extend your combos in the air and make sure to equip air combo boost abilities because it will increase the damage outputted at the end of each air combo as well. Do this as long as you select the right one every time and you can beat this one with ease. Number 11 can be found in the waterway of the Timeless River World, pretty much the Disney Castle World. All you need to know for this guy is you gotta take the number of displayed above his head down to zero as fast as you can. Mainly under 19 seconds is the mission, I believe. Now, my strategy might not work for everyone. However, again, I suggest you just have final form. You can do some wisdom form, but I had more of success with the final form. Now, when you press triangle on the sky to start in final form, make sure to gently press X two or three times. Wait like a split second, then continue pressing X two or three times again over and over and over again. Uh, it's hard to explain this, but kind of like what I explained to you going against number eight, you don't want to go into the combo where Sora jumps off the Keyblades very, very, very quickly or has both his Keyblades on both sides of him going, shaking up and down very, very fast. You don't want to do that because this mushroom likes to jump away. And if you go into that type of combo, it'll just jump away from you and you're not going to be able to hit it at all with that type of ending of a combo. You pretty much want, just want to hit X two or three times and then if you time it right when the mushroom jumps away you'll pretty much go into a spinning type sideways effect with your keyblades still hitting the mushroom when it's jumping away. So just do this over and over and over again. You could probably press X more than two or three times. I don't recommend it. Just be careful not to accidentally go into ending type of combos like I was trying to say, the jump off keyblade thing and the two keyblades going up and down very, very fast. So you sword. Just keep doing the two or three X thing over and over again. Try to do the spinning keyblade attack at it while it's jumping away and you'll be okay. Number 12 can be found in the old mansion area of Twilight Town World. All you need to know for this guy is he'll pretty much randomly 
have clones of himself appear around the area and you gotta take them out as many as you can in the amount of time that's declining now I found the easiest way to do this is to have the wisdom form have the berserk ability equipped also have the cure spell as well now the reason for this is is to go ahead and transform into wisdom form cast cure on yourself and just like in with mushroom number eight it pretty much takes your magic meter away completely thus enabling berserk mode this will allow you to shoot your wisdom ice thingies ice type energy blasts or I don't know if it's ice or not but little blue energy blasts at all of them a lot quicker you also want to tap R1 to keep locking on to each of the clones over and over again berserk mode with wisdom form allows you to shoot your energy blasts a lot faster in between rest times normally when you keep pressing X over and over again with wisdom form he'll go into the end of a combo by doing the hovering backflip upside down thing well if you have berserk mode enabled Sora don't do that he just keeps shooting energy blasts over and over again very 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 fast so it's a lot easier to do it this way because there's no stop to the energy blast source shoots out in berserk mode keep doing this as much as you can and take out the clones as fast as you can with this method and you'll be okay go ahead and go to the great mall area of a hollow bastion slash radiant garden world after you beat all the other 12 first and all you gotta do is go up to and press triangle and one of them will come down to the ground from the sky and you pretty much will get a mushroom 13 keyblade hope you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so talk to you guys later peace out